To my surprise, and probably yours, there's a new update for Ground today. So at the end of the dev live stream, I watched the last couple minutes to listen to the Q&A, just to see if they were going to reveal anything about the next update coming. They showed off a tiny little teaser, or they played a little tiny teaser audio clip. Nobody kind of knew what it was. It just sounded like a bug noise, but they just dropped the patch notes for it. So what I want to do is quickly go through the patch notes. They're pretty short. I don't want to jump in the game to take a look at the new boss that was added to the game. So this is the 1.2.2 update dropping on May 3rd. We're here to celebrate Broodmother's Day. In celebration, we have a nice, we have a special surprise for you, all to help recognize our favorite spider mom of the yard. Full Broodmother equipment set. Additional armor recipes have been added for you to craft to complete the Hedge Broodmother armor set. Chest of the Mother Demon, Greaves of the Mother Demon. Broodmother mutation additional effect. The mom gene mutation will now increase all poison damage you deal by a large amount on top of allowing you to summon spiderlings to fight alongside you. May sign set. During the month of May, a new si May sign set will be purchased at the science shop related to spring and the hours that come along with it. New boss. This is a huge surprise to me. I was expecting perhaps a new boss to come in the future, either being the ant queen that was, I think, in the game and they cut it, as well as the lizard boss that was, I believe, in the sandbox that was also didn't make it to the final game. Instead, they're adding the infected broodmother. That's right. The hedge broodmother isn't the only mom in town. We'll be celebrating the arrival of the moldy matriarch this month, broodmother's day of the month. Broodmother's day month as well. The infected broodmother lays hidden deep in the bowels of the haze, waiting for a poor soul to set her free. I'm going to jump in the game in just a second and creative to see where it's located. I kind of have an idea where I think it's going to be located. So we're going to go straight to that place. This new epic boss is a permanent addition to the game, not just for the month of May, and will test your backyard skills to the limit. It's going to be interesting to see if there's a summoning recipe as well. Full equipment set related to the infected broodmother, one new weapon to craft, one new trinket to obtain. Well, for all you people that love doing the 1% drop rates on trinkets, have fun fighting the infected broodmother. New achievement. I just got all the achievements, so we're now on the 40 out of 41, so we're going to have to go in and get that eventually. One new achievement for killing the infected broodmother. New buildings. Infected broodmother th thrown, infected broodmother brazier, stuffed infected broodmother, infected broodmother wall mount. With that, we wish you good luck, and don't forget to tell your favorite yard mom, happy broodmother's day. So we got some stuff down here, some changes. Fewer wasps spawn in the base attacks. Wasps no longer immune to poison. Wasp drone heal, not reduced. Most poisons applied by player to creatures now double the duration. Increasing the damage per tick to all poison effects. So the poison was nerfed. It looks like they're kind of trying to balance it back up. Broodmother set poison, venom, poison no effects no longer get applied. I'm not going to read through all these. These are kind of just balance changes. What I want to do is I want to jump into the game and see where this new broodmother boss is located. See if there's a summoning recipe and figure that all out so let's jump over to the game real quick all right so i located the den i guess we want to call it of the new infected wolf spot or infected broodmother it is located in the haze here inside the stepping stones there's a little there's a hole down here basically so you could fall down here before and then they've just extended this area and you can get down here so this is where it's located on the map i believe the haze has to be plugged i loaded a save that the haze was not plugged and i couldn't get in here it was blocked by webs the haze is unplugged on here, so it's open. I'm not sure 100% on that, but I think it is. Before I go in there real quick, I want to take a look at the new sets that they added, the new armor sets. So we got the full Mother Demon armor set here. You'll notice there's a chest piece and a set of greaves. So basically, it, ha it comes with Poison Nova. It's got Poison Coating. And then the, I believe the Sleek effect was the Venom Coating. Chance to apply Venom on all attacks. So that's going to be the Sleek effect for that. The new boss, the Mask of the Moldy Matriarch. We got the chest and the Greaves of the Moldy Matriarch. This is going to give us the Explosive Stun, the Stun Damage dealt by Explosives. Dynamitey. Explosives apply a debuff to enemies, reducing their Explosion Resistance. That was the Sleek upgrade. And then Cluster Bomb Explosions have a chance to chain into smaller Explosions. You're also going to need to make the Moldy Hoagie. The recipe for that is in Moldork's Castle. So what I want to do real quick is run in here, and I just want to spawn it in to see what this thing looks like. I'm on creative, like I said, so I'm not going to actually do the boss fight. I have no idea how difficult it's going to be. I just want to see what this thing looks like. I'll probably take it on at some point in the near future. There is a new achievement that goes along with it, but let's just see what this new boss looks like. I can not I can only imagine that this is probably, with the recipe being in the castle, that's like basically the last place you go. This thing's probably going to be pretty wicked looking, so let's summon this thing in and see what it looks like. Oh, it was actually sitting on the ceiling there. So we got the infected broodmother. That is a big time health bar there. Let's look at the data on it, see what we got here. Weakness is the fresh, 
Resistance to salty and spicy. Alright, so I'm just going to take it out real quick, or I have no idea how quick, because I really don't have any leveled up weapons, so this might take a while. So I'm going to skip ahead, and we'll just see what the loot this thing drops. Actually, let's look at the boss fight here. That She's jumping back a massive amount. I know they changed the Broodmother. Let me see if I actually have... I do not have a Mint Mace. The Broodmother... I know they the jump... I think they messed with the jump attack on her, but this, or the jump... Yeah, she jumps back. This thing's jumping back massively, so... Anyway, like I said, I have no upgraded gear here, so I'm just going to quickly, or as quickly as I can, get through this fight, and I'm going to skip ahead, and we'll see what kind of loot we get. All right, so we landed the killing blow here. That actually took a couple minutes. Now, of course, I'm not using upgraded gear. She moves really fast. I don't think I saw the whole boss fight, to be completely honest. She respawned. No shot. She completely respawned with full health. Okay, so now I can't even see... Okay, well, if you thought the boss fights before this were hard, this one's going to be ridiculous. All right, let me try to kill her again. I don't think I had to do a finishing blow, but it's got like a full second phase where she came back with a full health bar. All right, well, apparently there's not two phases. There's actually three, and I'm not going to sit here and finish this fight because my weapons are actually about to break. It took me about eight minutes to get through the second phase. Now, like I said, I'm not using... I don't have any mutations on because I'm in a creative mode, and I'm using like level zero gear... Look at the speed at which this boss moves. She does like, um, she moves back quickly. She attacks quickly. She flies backwards. She shoots explosions. She heals mid fight. I don't, the health bar has now, this is the, I just killed her twice. After the first time, her health bar looked like it doubled. And now it looks like it doubled again. This is probably going to be a fight that I would say the average person's probably going to have trouble doing it on mild. I can't even imagine doing this on woe. Because of the explosions that are happening, just the explosion, the attack speed, look how quickly she moves away. When she moves away, she puts like this dust down. So this is going to be a really tough fight that I would expect. Like any challenge up to this point is going to be a joke. Like all the other bosses I thought were fairly easy. This one is probably going to be quite difficult. You're going to have to go in with fully maxed out gear. You're probably going to have to have every mutation unlocked, every, well, I mean, you're going to have to have the right mutations. You're going to have to write smoothies to write food and stuff like that and even then it's going to be really come down to being able to block because the attack speed here this is absolutely nuts one thing i want to show real quick before i end is i didn't show off the the new recipe the new food recipe just to show you what it actually cost so that is going to be i think it keeps attacking me the moldy hoagie costs toenails three toenails one mana set one wasp queen one two brew mother fangs that means you're gonna have to beat three of the other bosses one of them twice just to be able to summon this thing in one time and as you can see now, she's throwing in, she's got explosions coming down here. I think I saw some gnats flying around too. So she's summoning in adds, which are going to knock the weapons out of your hand. So this is going to be a crazy fight. I'm glad to see they're still adding content to the game. Let me know in the comments down below if you're actually going to try to fight this new boss. And let me know if you beat it. I can't say that I'm going to do it anytime soon because honestly, I don't even know how to prepare for this thing. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button. And here's another video you might find helpful as well.